So I'm out here with Tyson, mm -hmm. and Hello. <laughs> we are going to do a thing that we have been planning to do for some time, but ran into an issue. Yeah. This is a dead microwave. And we are going to be taking this apart so that I can show Tyson kind of what's inside a microwave and how it works. Uh, you can see why this is dead, because it's all completely rusted through here. It also quit working. The safety feature is no longer, no longer safety, and uh, it was not worth trying to fix uh, because it was starting to spark and all sorts of fun stuff. But the issue that we ran into, and I've never seen this before on a microwave, is that these screws holding the cover on are Torx security bits. They're a TS15. So now I got my Torx security bits. Had to special order them. Here, why don't you do the camera? Cool, cool. All right. So that can come off. A little steel for some recycling. Uh, are there ones on the bottom too? No, oh. there are not. It just it lifts out and pulls up. Yeah. Oh wait, nope. Oh, one on the side. All right, take her out, man. Mm. There we go. And I wonder. Yeah, I nope. didn't see one on this side. Yeah, there we go. Yep. And my guess that it did. It's probably got a lip that goes underneath it or something. There we go. Sweet. All right. So this is pretty much the insides of a microwave. Uh, what we've got here. This is a magnetron. This is the thing that actually produces the microwave. Yep. That's the uh, big honking, we call it an MOT. It's a microwave oven transformer. You can probably guess where it got its name. I would assume from a microwave oven. Yes, and it works out nicely that way. Uh, these are actually temperature, temperature switches. These are meant for overheating, so when you you know, it's like if you're cooking something, you're standing right in front of that camera. Let's oh, move, move it over here. <laughs> oh. Yeah. There we go. So when you're cooking, if something gets too hot or catches on fire, these will cut power. Um, I don't know why there are two of them necessarily. Uh, oh, I know that's a different thing. Oh, I know why. Because there's an actual heating element in this, which I have never seen in a microwave oven before. Yeah, it's got like a little toaster oven element in it. So oh, this one I, is I've for the toaster oven. I never have either, and I, I never did figure out a way to make it's it come on. It's kind of cool. It, well, or kind of hot. If it worked. Yeah. It, it would yeah. be cool if it'd it be, worked. It'd be cool if it worked, <laughs> yeah. All right, we're rolling. All right, but it's just it's a little bit of stair. Just drop them in the yeah this little tray here. Random little piece of metal. Yeah. Take that out. Actually, I'm gonna get a box and we'll start putting the metal pieces in a box. Yeah, that's just the door hinge. Yeah. 
Right. I think you have to tip it up to get the bottom one. Yeah. So. Well, let's start going from the top side. Yeah. Hmm. Ooh. I believe this is how we would take the front off. Oh, that front panel? I oh, you mean the way of the camera. Yeah, that's okay. Let's turn it this way a little bit. Yeah. There's probably more that are, oh yeah, there's one there. Oh no, that's a different no. one. Yeah, there's probably ones on the bottom. Let's get some of this stuff out first. So we get this out of the way, it'll be easier. Yeah, yeah. yeah let's probably get in that on the bottom. It is. <laughs> yeah, that works. Yeah. This is a little uh, uh, power or uh, noise suppressor thing for the power lines. Oh. It's a little noise filter and fuse. Ah, yeah. uh, that's got something on it. Uh, let's see. Let's pull these off. Oof. Those are not easy to pull off. Try pulling straight out. Oh my gosh. Those I've got an easier solution. Just pull it off. Yes. I need a I need a tiny, tiny bit crowbar or hammer. Well, I don't have a teeny little crowbar or hammer in the drill bag. That'll work. Okay. Oh. Yep. Pilot light. Little appliance light. Okay, now I know, if you look on here, see there's that number 90? Yeah. That means that this is rated for 90 degrees centigrade. Oh. So if the temperature goes, up, I think it's centigrade, pretty sure. But uh, if the temperature goes above that, it, uh, it opens the circuit and shuts off. This one is rated at 120. So I don't know if those are, if those are uh, Fahrenheit or centigrade, I don't remember. Oh, it doesn't have something on the bottom. Oh, cool. Now we all, all we gotta do is do essentially mechanics yep. and just unhook stuff. Yep, and we're not worried about putting it back together, so we're not worried about uh, keeping the order or anything like that. No, which is a good thing. Yeah. Well, that's another reason to shoot video when you're taking something apart, especially if you wanna put it back together again, because you always have something to reference how it went together in the first place. Mm. Yeah. We'll do it the easier way. Yeah, that'll work. Keep the motherboard out. Nice thing is this catching wall for me. 
Seems like it doesn't want to come out. I wonder if it's got some clips or something in it. That's what I'm thinking. Mm, it probably does. Yep. Aha! Yep, there we go. Then you separate that from the little keyboard connector. Yeah. Here we go. Hey, and there is your. Uh, That's the controller, and all yeah. that is is it's just a big membrane keyboard. Yep. So that can. Yeah, just toss it in the box or something. It's all going into recycling. Toss the little pieces in there that we. Yep. Electronics in there. Sound like little bells. <laughs> I'm gonna go get a uh, pair of pliers. Yeah, wire snips. Well, maybe. Now to leave this. Yep. It can just come out. And I think that's the safety latch mechanism. So. Uh, all right. Permission? Yeah. Oh no! Don't don't cut them. Don't cut them. Let's uh, figure it out where they're. Figure I out where they're. I see what it attaches to. It attaches to the little, spin. The little, little motor. Yeah. Yeah. So let's leave those as long as they are, and we'll pull them out from the connectors. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to, yeah, we'll have to cut that one, all right. So, all right, these should just pop out. I think they might need some persuasion. Might need to go get a little flathead screwdriver and pry them up. Um, I it might. Think it's meant to be either a chisel or a file. But oh, it's it's a chisel. It's a wood chisel, but it's got a really really sharp point on it. It's not really meant for prying, but I think it will work for our needs. <clears throat> so you just slip it in underneath there. See if you can get it. To, you can get it to go. Yeah. Nice. There we go. And one more. Um, I think these are. Yeah, those are pull offs. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the uh, door interlock. That's one of the parts that wasn't working. So I don't know if the switch was bad or if it's something else. Whatever it was. Mm-hmm. It's off now. Ah! All right, let's see if we can get this out. So let's see if you can pull that white, the white and black wires out. White and black. Yeah. 
Yeah, so if it was only a mosquito-free zone. Nice. And I'm now going to pull this out. I think. There we go. And now we have a power, power cord. In case we need it for something else. Yeah. Now what we can do There's a ring. Oh, yeah, that's a magnet. Yeah? Yeah, I'll have to pull it off here. Try that. Ooh. And then these. Yeah, these are actually the heater terminals. There's a low voltage that goes through here that it's at a fairly high current. It heats up a filament on the inside. This is this is kind of a big special purpose vacuum tube. And this little thing on the top is an antenna, and that blasts the microwaves in here, and it goes through, there's this little plasticky window on the inside, if you look. Yep. And that's where the microwaves go through. Let's see, let's see. And you got this honking thing. Yes, this is, this is a magnetron. We'll probably uh, go through taking this apart later, but it's... Uh, there's a couple things you want to know about this. Um, Before taking it apart, probably. Yes. Yeah, this ceramic part in here, that is made of a beryllium composite, and you don't want to break that because it will release dust into the atmosphere and it's highly poisonous. So you want to be careful with these, but they're pretty cool. Yeah, like that. So death box. Yeah. Well, I mean, a microwave in general has a lot of chances to kill you if you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. Oh, see this little solenoid thing in here. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if that's a solenoid or if that's a fan. I can't tell right now. Yeah, those connectors, man. And the weird thing is... So much easier to pull out with pliers. Yes. Oh, okay, yeah, this is the cooling fan. Yeah. That's, you know, you always hear that when you turn the microwave on, that little fan that comes on. Yes, and yeah. if I... That just blows across the... Uh, my... Well, you probably want to get that screw out. Did not notice that guy. And then... Yeah, and then... All I did is just... Uh, yeah, that's weird. It should come right out, but because... Is this removable? No, it is not. Huh. Kind of makes you wonder how they made it, how they got it in there. <clears throat> Because you know these had to be assembled in a factory somewhere. Yeah. Oh, almost. There we go. There we go. And then a little fan. Yeah. So we can, yeah, we'll put it over here and we can keep that for something. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, that is the power capacitor. Um, I know that this has been off and it's not dangerous, but this is one thing when you are uh, when you are working with these, you always want to make sure that you short, short these connectors out beforehand, because this can store a whole lot of high voltage and it will definitely kill you and make it hurt the entire time that you die. But it is it is dead now. This is a high voltage diode, 
that rectifies the output from the transformer into a pulse DC waveform. And then this capacitor fills it out so you have this nice high voltage That's DC. That's a whole lot of words that I'm not very oh. skilled in understanding. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, this it, it just basically makes it a really high high power power supply. So it essentially increases the amount of power it has. Yeah. In a way. In a way, it just it makes it so that it's steadier instead of going. Ay, 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 ah. It goes. Mm. So it makes it an even flow of power instead of a wavy. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like mm. that. Uh, and these are, I mean, these are designed as part of the circuit. So they're, I mean, all the values are figured out long ahead of time. They've been doing this for a while. All right, this is the big boy. That's the one we want to play with. Flip over. Right. Um, I'm going to go get some snips so that we can get those off. Unless you want to try and get it with that. Oh, all right then. Just an incredibly small zip tie. Mm-hmm. You want to try and pull those? That small. Yeah. You want to try and pull those up from the... No, okay. Yeah, go ahead and keep taking it apart. That's great. Mm. Ah, there we go. Okay, now you see how these are black and white wires? Yes. Um, just the color coding in here. These are the two mm, from either neutral or ground. Uh, well, this one, the white one is neutral. The black one is the hot side. Ah, yeah. So the ground is the green one that just went up here and screwed in up here. Oh yeah. A little tiny piece of metal. That's greasy. Yeah, just slightly. <laughs> yeah, there's been a lot of greasy food cooked in this thing. All right. So, I do believe that we now have to flip this over. Yes. And I'm going to put this down so that we can do that. <laughs> what? I don't know if this is going to catch anything or not. It's so, so precarious. Ah, the door won't close. Oh, amazing. Amazing how that works. No, just get closer. Oh. Easier to man handle. Oops. Nice. No, well, that that came out. Yeah, that was supposed to. That's the little drive for the bottom of the microwave, the tray. There's another one on the front. Yeah. There we go. Nice. Or is now off. And what we can do is those can rest in there and now that one was in there good.
And there's a couple of, there's one there. Cool. All right, let's uh, let's get this transformer off before we start moving this apart. Nice. <clears throat> now we gotta figure out how to get that motor out. I need some a screw. All right, cool. So this is this is called a pancake motor because it's shaped like that. This is also a synchronous motor, which means that it runs constant at a constant speed based on the line frequency of 60 Hertz and the weird thing about these is you don't know which direction they're gonna go when they start up oh so so it's essentially I could have a left turning thing or I could have a right turning thing yes or as they call it clockwise and counterclockwise I think that this is now a steel carcass which is ready for no. scrap oh no it is no. not no it is not, not quite all right, so we got to get the bits, proper bits for these. Um, okay. Don't you hold that, and I'll get the, I'll get the, the bits from the bits there. I'm going to continue attempting to unscrew these. You know, it's probably not going to work. See if this one works. Right size, but it's not deep enough. Ah, these are going to that. Yep. Wrong size. So that, that is the guts of the microwave. Yes. I'll and the well. Essentially the skin of the microwave right there. Yep. And then the shell. Alright, that is an odd size that I don't think I have a proper socket for, unless I go get the sockets. Let's see if that's down here. Your microwave has a lot of screws in it. Screws and bolts. Hmm. Well, the socket sets up in the car. So. I can't. I may be able to run up and grab it. I think we'll do this. We just need to loosen. Doing it very well. I'm just taking it off. That's kind of good. Isn't it? Yeah. I think it's it's awkward too. Yeah. We may have to get the, uh, the socket set for that. Yeah, but these now.
No, those are on tight. Okay. Yeah, that's that's gonna need a socket. I don't think you were gonna be able to squeeze it tight enough and get the same leverage. No. So Yeah, that's just that little that little membrane that the microwave stuff goes through. It kind of pops out. I'm not sure what this is. I don't know if this is mica. I think it might be. I'm not sure. But man, you can see how uh, how cooked that is. That discoloration. <laughs> and if we had a cat. All right, you want to run up and get the socket set? Uh, yeah. Okay. Go do that. Mm. Really difficult to. This is the kind of thing that nut drivers are made for. It's one of the tools I don't have in my arsenal. There's a set of nut drivers. All right, you want to try and get that out? Probably need to work it work it from the inside. I mean this difficulty push. That, yes. Because this is just a big resistor. That's all it is. And there are good things that we can do with this, especially if we're going to get into doing wind power or anything like that. Um, yeah, might as well toss that on. And I'll keep a couple of the nuts too, just for schnitz and giggles. Oh, this is an empty husk of what used to be a microwave. Yes, it is. And that can go in the scrap bin. So next time we do the, uh, next time we scoot to the transfer station, we can bring all this and toss it in the, the uh, scrap pile. Yeah. I think they actually appreciate it when they don't have to do the work. Uh, taking it apart? Yeah. All right, now let's get the rest of this carcass you carcass and get some of these other parts. So these are little micro switches. They are always handy. And I think I am just going to leave these connected Cut the wires. This one doesn't seem to want to. Want to come off? Come off. Uh, all right. Nor does it seem to favor me all too much. Ah, I see. Oh. And there is the control board. I'll 
Nice little EMI filter board. A fuse. I find something very zen-like about this. Yeah. There's a good one. Yeah. This? Oh. Those? Yeah, probably. Not wanting to come off. Or just break it. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Yeah. All right, these are pretty much worthless anymore. They're, uh, because they're no longer, they don't have the bracket to hold them down to anything. But they're just kind of, kind of cool to see. We got wire. Yep. And we can scrap the wire as well. Someday I'll show you more about the transformer, but I'll have to find all the all the good stuff and figure out what all is in here. So there's the this is the primary winding. This is the one that takes in 120 volts. Oh. And you can see there's you know there's some turns in there. There's a number of them. I don't know how many. This is the high voltage side. And if you look in there, you can see. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, there we go. You can see there's a whole bunch more turns of really fine wire. Yeah. And what this does is it steps up the voltage. So you might have 120 volts coming in here, and you'll probably have 2400 coming out of here. Oh. And so, ow, and then death. Yeah, pretty much. Huh. Yeah, these will these will absolutely kill you. And it will it will hurt the entire time. So normally, what we'll do with something like this is we'll take out, you know, we can like probably um, cut these welds on the side, pull these out, take this one out, and then we replace it with a different one. Like if you go with a really really thick gauge wire, and you wrap it around a couple times, you can make a little arc welder with it. Oh. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. You can also turn these into uh, power supplies and, and all sorts of other things. But um, I know a couple of people that have done this where they've gotten a couple of these, these transformers that are pretty much the same. And they'll stack the primary windings together and leave this part off. And it makes for a really powerful electromagnet. Oh. Yeah. So there's some cool stuff that you can do with these parts. You want to keep that as a souvenir? Huh? Little little uh, trophy. I mean, it's kind of cool looking, but you don't have to. Yeah, it's cool looking. Yeah. Don't know where I'd put it though. I don't either. I just figured that I'd say if you want to keep it, you can. But now these are seven segment LED displays. So each one of these individual segments around here is controllable individually by a uh, by there's a, a chip in here. So this, that is a special purpose ship that's designed for running this microwave and probably a couple of other different ones. Mm -hmm. And they're single purpose, so they, they don't really get used for anything else. 
Except for running the microwave. Yeah. This, I believe, I think these two are relays. So there's a smaller relay here. And then this one is a bigger relay. I think this is probably for turning the voltage to the microwave on and off. And then this one is the beeper. That's oh. so what I'm assuming that little thing is. That's the little sound hole. Yep. Ah. Oh, it's two relays and a beeper. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, they're not going to come you out. Can come off the board. In there, the beeper. Yeah. It's a little uh, little piezo disc. It's a little uh, ceramic disc that moves with voltage. Mm -hmm. So. So that's what's in a microwave and kind of how it works. And we can scrap all the rest of this and be happy. Yeah. Cool, fun, kind of, sort of. Yeah. Awesome. So keep in this? Um, I don't know, it's not really worth it. You can pull out the fuse, but I don't know where we'd put it. I don't really have a place for glass fuses right now. Poor little fuse. Mm -hmm. At least we know it wasn't a fuse issue. Yes, it was not a fuse issue. So. Yeah, you can go ahead. Also, I have to go in the electronics recycling. You know, just put the wires in there too, I think. And these. Oh, yeah. I mean, you could keep the screws if you want her to. Yeah, I'm thinking they're probably not worth keeping. There might be a couple of them in there. Like some of these sheet metal screws might be good. But, nah, let's go ahead and toss them. I don't. I can get sheet metal screws pretty cheap, so. And I can get the ones that I actually want. And actually, I'm gonna keep that. I wanna find out what this is. I think it's mica, but I don't know. I'm gonna try and try and find out because it's a it's a nice little piece of RF technology. So, all right. Any last words? Mm -hmm. So no. No. Okay. Not really. All right. Well, we'll do something else again. I'm not sure what and not sure when, but yay! Thanks, Tyson. <laughs> no problem. Bye. Bye.